I'm Sabine Delbar, the Export Marketing Manager for Interron, which is a trade association I'm working for. Uh, here is my workplace. How lucky am I, don't you think? So we're going to go uh, in Avignon and walk around. Welcome. So the Côte du Rhône and the Côte du Rhône village are the main AOC in the Rhône Valley. In 2020, the production was 1.6 million hectoliters. If the majority of the production is red, you also have great whites and rosé to discover. The Côte du Rhône have been recognized as an appellation in 1937. This is a guarantee of quality. Great, so nice brief introduction by uh, Sabine. Boy, I uh, can't say I'm not a little bit envious to have those beautiful surroundings uh, and be able to be uh, in the, the Côte de Rhone and in Avignon. Uh, but it is now my great uh, pleasure to introduce um, my business partner and co-founder of Napa Valley Wine Academy, our Vice President of Education and um, a diploma holder with the WSET, uh, Catherine Bouguet. Catherine, how are you this morning? <laughs> I'm doing great. Really excited about today. I am excited too. So I think you have a great presentation uh, to present. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and give the controls over to you and join you back here uh, for the Q&A uh, session uh, after your presentation. Great. Thank you so much, Christian. And it was so great to see Sabine. So I'm really excited to talk about the Côte de Rhone and the Côte de Rhone village today. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive in. Well, what we'll be exploring is those two appellations. So we've got the Côte de Rhone AOC and the Côte de Rhone village AOC. The latter, the Côte de Rhone Village AOC, also includes some villages or geographical areas which can append their name to the Côte de Rhone Village AOC. Don't worry, I'm going to be explaining all of this to you today. So at the end of this session, you'll be able to look beyond the label and you'll be able to appreciate these appellations, know what to expect in the bottle, in the glass when you taste these wines. And I trust you'll be excited as I am when, when I go to reach for a Cote de Rhone wine. In fact, you know, when I, when I go home at night and have dinner, I want a fruity wine. I want a nice round texture, maybe a little, you know, urban spice intrigue. And I get that every single time with a Cote de Rhone wine. So when I heard that we were going to be working on this project, I got so excited because I drink these wines. So really excited um, to talk to you about them today. So I've mentioned the term AOC and Appalachian several times already. And, you know, it stands for Appalachian de, or, you know, de Origine Controlée. And I just want to make sure, because this is a foundation course, that everybody's on the same page. When we're talking about a appellation, we're talking about the producers meeting certain requirements. So it's the boundaries of that appellation, right? The origins of where the grapes are from, what grapes can be used, and also different wine growing and wine making techniques are specified. 